Crete is the largest and most southern island of Greece and I was drawn to visit this beautiful island because of its incredibly diverse landscapes, rich history dating back thousands of years and strong cultural traditions that are still practiced today. Crete is divided into four regions. From the western side is Harnia, then Rathamno, then Heraklion, also the name and location of Crete's capital city, and finally Lesithi in the east. In this series, I'll be travelling across the island and learning all about the culture and history of each one of these regions. I'm here in the cultural capital of Crete, Heraklion, and this is where I'll be starting my journey through the island of Crete. So I've come to the old Venetian harbour. There is this incredible historic Rocca de Mari fortress behind me, which was built by the Venetians. And I'm gonna go and have a look inside and also see the views from the top of the fortress. Here at the top of the fortress you get a really beautiful view to the old town of Heraklion and the ocean and the mountains. It's such an idyllic setting, it's almost hard to imagine that it was built by the Venetians to ward off from threats of invasion. It's just a great piece of history to come and see when you're in Heraklion. Inside the fort there's a really interesting exhibition which explains in more detail the occupation of the Venetians on the island of Crete and has some amazing artefacts like a room full of hundreds of cannonballs. The Minoans are thought to be the most ancient European civilization that originated here on the island of Crete and in the last century Lots of excavations have been happening across the island and several famous Minoan palaces and ruins have been discovered. So I'm currently in one of those, which is the Malia Minoan ruins. Unlike the more well-known and famous Knossos Palace, which is visited by a lot of tourists, this palace hasn't had any restoration work done. So you really need to use your imagination to restore this palace to its former glory. Greek legend has it that King Minos, the famous king who ruled over Knossos Palace, his brother Sarpedon ruled here in the Malia Palace. Many of the artefacts that were uncovered from excavations of the Malia Palace can be found at the Heraklion Archaeological Museum in the centre of town. The most famous find is a precious gold bee pendant which is still in perfect condition. The bee is a potent symbol of Crete from ancient times because honey was widely traded throughout the region and the bee also represents fertility. Other famous artefacts include the Minoan snake goddess sculptures, which indicate that women enjoyed a high status in Minoan society because of their elaborate costumes and physical gracefulness. You can buy these sculptures in the form of souvenirs in many of Heraklion's shops. The city of Heraklion is really lively and vibrant, especially in the evenings when locals and visitors gather outside in the many cafes and bars and wander the streets to do some window shopping. There's lots of locals about and you get a real sense of the Greek culture. There are also lots of great historical attractions, like the famous Morosini Lion's Fountain, built by the Venetians in the 1600s. It's a bigger city than other more touristy towns on the island, but you do get a real feel of the local way of life. What many people don't know about the island of Crete is that it's made up of some incredible, incredible mountain ranges. So today I've decided to go up into the mountain range in a Jeep and experience what I think will be a more local way of living in Crete. So I'm just headed to meet my guide now and then we're going to head up into the Dicti mountain range. Hello, good morning. Salimera. 
Kalimera. How are you today? I'm very well. I'm Malini. I'm Petra. Nice to meet you. On the way to the mountains, we stopped at the beautiful Ahios Yorgios Monastery, which is very well known because locals consider it a sign of bad luck if you pass it by without stopping to light a candle. Petra also told me it would be good to light one for our safe travels ahead. Oh, what's that? Wild oregano. Or oregano. It smells so good. You can put it in your salad tonight. This is what we call vascomilo. Vascomilo. It's wild sage. Oh, wild sage. Strong. Oh, that smells incredible. <laughs> Petra took me to see a local friend of hers, Katerina, who is an amazing 77-year-old woman who grows and sells her own produce from her farm. Is that the honey that she makes? Yes. Wow. Honeycomb. Oh. Ooh. It's lovely. Mm -hmm. Try it. Mmm. That's so sweet. Mm. Can we look? Can we look? So you're the heating the milk. And nowadays they have a kind of yeast. And the old days they did this just simply with um, uh, vinegar. Uh -huh. Or lemon. Malene and Katerina. Me too. Ma Malini. 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 Oh, you can try if you like. Okay. Oh, wow. Mm. Fresh, fresh from fresh. the milk. It's, it's it's still got water. Be careful not to mm -hmm. throw it on yourself. Oh, these are great. These are crepes. Wow. Yeah, la na. Yeah, na. 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 So because they know her, they come, right? Because they're not scared of her. Katharina has yeah. just brought us nah. here to see nah. Nah. the goats and she actually yeah. has some way of, of calling them all yeah. over. She says Ella Na, yeah. which is come here and they nah. all come. Nah. So you can see them all running nah. towards yeah. us now. Nah. And um, she's just been showing us some of the things that she grows in her farm. So grapes and walnuts. It's such a beautiful yeah. setting, such a beautiful place nah. to live and to grow nah. your fresh fruit and fresh vegetables. Oma, Oma, Oma. It's some talents. Oma, grandmother. Yeah, yeah. My Greek grandmother. Me, 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 me. Ευχαριστώ, ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ. Ευχαριστώ. Ευχα. Ευχαριστώ. Ευχαριστώ. Good teacher. Thank you. Ευχαριστώ, Κατερίνα. Ευχαριστώ. Bye bye. On our way to La Sisi Plateau now, and we just got off here at this viewpoint. Just walked down, and you can see behind me the Havhas Gorge. It's one of the many gorges that you can hike here in the island of Crete, and it's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful views to come and admire. Got a little friend who's come for a little snack. Wild mountain goats. Wow, there's another one. Yeah. come down to the La Sisi Plateau and um, I think this is you said one of the most fertile places in yes. the, 
island yes. of Crete. Yes. And they grow a lot of vegetables here. So you see tomatoes, peppers, peppers, beans. But the city is famous for the potatoes. For the potatoes. Yes. So that's the most famous thing that's grown yeah. in the Lassisi Plateau. You can see also these windmills behind us. They were using them, there were many, many, until the year that the electricity came to the plateau, which was in 1950. There were over 10,000 of these kind of windmills. But then slowly, slowly, they were starting to use electric pumps because they used them to pump up the water. To pump up and irrigate the land. Yes. Okay. And then they started to use electric water pumps, so slowly they disappeared, but still there are some. Are they trying to do any kind of renovation of the windmills and kind of bring them back? To... Well, there is a, a group of young farmers, they are talking about maybe reintroducing those old kind of windmills again. It would be good, it's pretty and yeah, of course it, the wind, it looks, it looks is, the wind is free, you know, yeah. the wind is free. It was an incredible experience seeing how locals live in Crete and exploring the stunning interior of the island. Thank you.